In 2010, the Florida State football team had a lot of reasons to be optimistic. First year head coach Jimbo Fisher had energized the Seminoles with sweeping changes from the infrastructure of the program to the addition of five new assistants, all of whom bring impressive credentials as teachers and recruiters. On the field, the Seminoles welcome back 10 offensive starters, including the entire offensive line. The 2010 offense would be led by veteran quarterback Christian Ponder, one of the most highly regarded signal callers in the nation. There was also a renewed optimism among the Seminole Nation regarding FSU's defense. Mark Stoop stepped in after the retirement of longtime defensive coordinator Mickey Andrews and introduced a new zone-based defensive scheme to the Seminoles. But who could have imagined that the 2010 season would see the Seminoles crush both their biggest rivals by a combined score of 76 to 24. The Seminoles would run through a University of Miami team ranked 13th in the nation and leave South Florida winning by four touchdowns. Later, the University of Florida would come to Doe Campbell Stadium and leave on the short end of a 31-7 whipping. The state of Florida is known for having some of the best teams in all of college football. But in 2010, there would be only one team that could call itself state champions, the Florida State Seminoles. position and really rattled Damian Berry. Minimal game. Big stick by Nick Moody. Second down goal from just inside the 10. The snap. Three strap drop at a post. It's nearly picked off by Greg Reed at the goal line. Thrown too tall and almost a pick by Reed. Had a fingertip on it. Could not squeeze it. Third down and goal from the 10. What they're going to try to do right there is body, Hank, uh, body the receiver up a little bit, height of advantage over Greg Reed. Florida State's defense digging in, trying to hold him on third down and goal from the 10-yard line. Now Darius Johnson wide to the left. 
in the slot. Leonard Hankerson. The snap to Corey Harris. And he's fumble football. It's loose. Diving on it. Who's got it? Kicked off the shoe, and who came up with the football? Bosher, who has been kicking forever, a grad student, will attempt a 32-yard field goal. Give Miami an early lead. Bosher, four out of six. Air kick is high enough, and it's no yeah. good. He missed the field goal. What was that? Wide, Wide left. to the left, and Bosher <laughs> from 32 yards misfires. Matt Bosher to punt to Greg Reed. Reed stands at the 7 26 Bosher's kick a good one. High spiraling punt comes down, returnable from the 19. Reed comes up the middle to the 30. He snagged to the 35. Wow, he's clothesline right there, but Reed bounces up. Good return from the 16 yard line out to the 35. Tight end, Bo Relliford shifts to the right. Wholesale shift by the Kane defense. They threaten the blitz. Here's the snap out of the eye formation. Running right is Jermaine Tom. Breaks a tackle to the 40. He's to the 43-yard line. Still fighting to the 44. Boy, he hit that hole in a hurry and with authority and gained nine yards. That's how you have to run the football. You have to square those shoulders to square to the line of scrimmage, but you also have to accelerate through a hole. They don't stay open very long, Gene. What is it about shoes tonight? It's not the new turf, is it? Jermaine Thomas just lost a shoe. And he has to take himself out of the huddle and go to the sideline. And Chris Thompson will check in for it. To Knowles move left. No score first quarter. Here's the snap. Hand off to the fullback. And prior up to get to the 50. Prior to the 45 of the 40. No, prior to the 35 of the 31 yard line. Quick hitter by the fullback. And prior takes it to the 29 of Miami. Run down by Von Telemach. But with that Florida State first down, Tires Plus donates another $25 to the Pediatric Cancer Foundation. How about Lonnie Pryor running up the gut for a gain of 27? They Give spot the ball to the 31. Give it up for the fullback getting through there and breaking through the hole, being able to get down the field. Always happy to see a fullback do well. Well, they'll bring in two running backs now. Pryor's in there uh, along with Thompson. Now, Toe Thompson was the setback, and he swings out wide to the right. Ponder is the quarterback. Three on the huddle clock. The snap and the Seminoles will run it up the gut. It's Pryor again to the Hurricane 27 yard line. Florida State nothing. Miami nothing. Knowles on the move though. That big 27 yard run by Lonnie Pryor. Just what the doctor ordered. Colin McCarthy makes the tackle. Pryor's first big run of the season. He scored two touchdowns in the first game against Sanford, but he's sort of been quiet. So he's had a little bit of an injury. Yeah, I tell you what, he is a factor. When you have a fullback that can catch and run the football, it's always something that the defense is not going to be prepared for because they really haven't seen him, like you said, Gene. Pistol formation now with Chris Thompson behind Chris Ponder. Second down and six the snap. Ponder throws it rope caught. 18-yard line, great throw and a great grab by Taiwan Easterly. He's hit immediately, but he gets a first down. Nine yards on a precision dart thrown by Christian Ponder. First down, 10 FSU inside the Hurricane 20. Good job. A lot of confidence. You can tell Ponder throwing that ball in there. Uh, some defenders in there, but able to squeeze it in for a good completion. The ball spotted at the Hurricane 18-yard line. Florida State began this drive back at the 35 after a great greed punt return of 16 yards, 19 yards. First down 10 from the Kane 18. Blitz threatened from the left side corner. Relaford a tied in. Knowles run to the right as Chris Thompson spins inside the 17 to near the 16. Nothing, nothing score. Lonnie Pryor and Jermaine Thomas. High formation, second down nine. From the 17 of Miami. The snap, play action, fake ponder. Dumps the pass off. Caught by Jermaine Thomas. It's to the five-yard line. Cut it outside. 3 2 one. Touchdown, Florida State. Jermaine Thomas over the middle and outruns everybody at Orange. It's 6 nothing. Knowles. Uh, excellent play right there. Just a quick screen play. Uh, Miami is looking, you know, backing up. They're off the line of scrimmage. They're not prepared for it. Christian Ponder throws the ball right underneath. Has great blocking by his offensive lineman, and he's able to get into the end zone. Excellent play call by Jimbo Fisher. 65-yard drive engineered by Christian Ponder. He finds Jermaine Thomas for a 17-yard touchdown. Point after touchdown. Good. From the toe of Dustin Hopkins, and the kid from Houston just continues his string. He's kicked 56 in a row. Boy, third down 10. And I tell you what, right now is the time that you're looking for Hankerson because they're going to put him in that slot, and he's been their big play receiver, and who Corey Harris has been throwing to 70% of the time. 
Nickel defensive set for the Seminoles. Inside hand on a draw play. Knowles read the draw. Barry will be safe. Fumble. 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 Super score. The Super score. To the 20. To the 15. To the 10. To the 5. 3. 2. 1. Touchdown FSU. Touchdown Florida State. Nick Moody takes it to the house. And it's 13 to nothing FSU. Fumble by Barry. Gobbled up and you called it. Scoop and score. And the Knowles do. A beautiful play that time. Just excellent penetration by the defensive line. They tried to trick us with that draw before. That time the defensive line stayed at home. We get the strip. Ball is picked up and taken to the house by Moody. Excellent play. Those are the type of plays that your defense have here to put together. Well, they're going to review the play, and it looked like from here, we got a pretty good angle. Our press box locations down around the 30-yard line uh, going toward the east end zone, exactly where Moody took it into the paint, we thought, and they're going to review it. Brad Allen, the That's referee, is taking the headphones off, and let's listen in what he said. After seeing. further review, the elbow of the ball carry was down prior to the ball breaking the play. We will put the ball inside the one-yard line. First down. Okay, so the ruling by instant replay review is he was down by contact inside the one yard line. You don't get the touchdown, but you don't lose the ball via the touchback. So that, FSU will have the ball first down goal from a yard away. And what that does, Gene, is it allows Florida State to keep the momentum because nothing would have been a greater momentum shift than to get that big turnover, take it down there, think you have a touchdown, but then have to turn it right back around and give it to Miami. Right now, we just need to hold on to the football, go straight ahead, and get six. Well, get used to that hurricane warning cry. Uh, you're going to hear a noise even more blood curdling than that on a Thursday night in Raleigh, that wolf howl. Oh, I hate that uh, wolf <laughs> It is first down and goal, Knowles. Hurricanes have allowed five rushing touchdowns. Four of those by Ohio State from the one. Handoff running to the right. Jermaine Thomas gets the corner into the paint. Touchdown FSU. This one will count. Not even a question. Excellent play and a good job by the whole right side of the offensive line. Bo for going down and, and taking care of business. I tell you, they, who was our, the, the Henry Aurelis? And Jabaris Little co collapsing that right side of the line, but then Jermaine Thomas showing outstanding speed to get to the sideline, to the pylon, six points Florida State. Jermaine Thomas has scored one through the air and one on the ground now. The Knowles lead 13 nothing. point after touch. High snap, Powell with a good snag, and the point after touchdown is good. Boy, give the Roman Candle half of that point. 12-19 to go in the first half. Jermaine Thomas is the setback. And Christian Ponder underneath Ryan McMahon at center. We move left to right on your radio toward the east end zone at Sun Life. Here's a handoff running left. Jermaine Thomas finds a crease. He's to the uh -oh. 40 with a blocker in front of the 45. He's to the 50. Uh -oh. Sideline with a blocker. He is going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. A great tackle by Colin McCarthy. If McCarthy doesn't dive over a blocking 7-0, it's to the paint again for Jermaine Thomas. He scored twice, and he wants another one. A huge gain on first down from the 32-yard line to the Miami Hurricane 34. You just see a different runner in Jermaine Thomas over the last few weeks. I think Ty Jones getting in there and Chris Thompson, those first couple of games of the season, kind of like he was sharing time. He wants this running back position for himself, and he's proven why he should be the number one guy. It's first down, and he gets a breather as Chris Thompson sort of stuttered and stumbled to the line of scrimmage and is knocked down without gaining anything. Uh, he may have lost a half yard as Mickinor Regis sort of gummed up that hole. He read the run that over his gap and closed the door. Second down, 10 and a half. I a shot pistol formation now with Ponder in the gun and behind him, Chris Thompson. Here's the snap, has plenty of time, looks over the middle, fires, it's caught. And, oh, dropped, I beg your pardon. In and out of the hands of Willie Halstead, who has had a good start to this, his sophomore season. All shotgun formation, marked to make is the 24. Moving right on your radio, the snap out of the gun. Dropping Ponder, dumps the pound, it's caught in the fifth of the 30, the 25-yard line, making a tackle to the 21st down, it's Willie Halstead. He comes back and gets sweet revenge after dropping one for a gain of eight. He picks up that pass, crossing pattern, and takes it inside the Hurricane 20-yard line. First down, 10 FSU. And what you call that play, Jane, is a simple, shallow cross. He's at that wide receiver position. Left side of the field comes all the way across the field. Defender can't keep up with him. Ponder sees that, gets the ball to him in stride. Nice pickup, nice gain. 20-yard gain on third down, 11. Well, the Canes a little confused on personnel now as they'll get a linebacker uh, back into the game. Well, that's Ver uh, Olivier Vernon, I beg your pardon. First down to the 14-yard line, moving right. 
Here's the snap. Ponder. Play action fake. Dropping the throw. Look. Sideline. Has a receiver. Pryor makes the catch. And he's gunned down immediately as he got to the six-yard line. That's a gain of three. Pryor, a tough kid, hangs on to the ball. Ray Ray Armstrong makes his first tackle of the game. Lonnie Pryor is a true sophomore from Okeechobee. They grow up tough around the big lake. And Pryor hanging on to that football. It comes, brings up second down and seven from the 11-yard line. See what Ponder's got up his sleeve now with Jermaine Thomas, the lone setback. Pryor wing to the left side. Taiwan easterly wide to the right. Burt Reed to the left of the formation. Here's the snap. Hand off to Thomas. A flag thrown. And Jermaine Thomas is flattered as he got to the nine. But a flag thrown right at the line of scrimmage. Did we cover up? No, it's going to be offside on Miami. Raymond Buchanan made the tackle. But on second down and seven, a Offside penalty will give the Seminoles five free yards. Fryer and Thompson. Thomas in the backfield. The snap handoff to Thomas. He finds a crease. Touchdown to Fishu. <laughs> Jeremy Thomas like a bolt of lightning to the paint. And the Noles lead 20 to nothing. And we just keep talking about it, Gene. The acceleration that he's getting. The tops. He's at top speed on his first step. And you have to give props right now to the interior of that offensive line. Rodney Hudson. McMahon. And Spurlock opening up the whole mash in Miami, Miami's defensive line, and getting us in there for six. Drive began back at the Seminole 32. Jermaine Thomas takes it to the house. And FSU leads 20 to nothing. Hold by Powell, kick here, board by Hopkins. And Florida State has built a 21 to nothing lead over the Miami Hurricanes on their home field. Dustin Hopkins to kick. Kicked a touchback the last time, put it through the end zone. He approaches, puts total leather, and this is another. Booming kick. It will go through the end zone. Kickers get a little pump too in rivalry games, don't they? Corey Harris out of the I formation. Will take the snap. Will drop the throw. He is under some heat. Now gets the pass away. Throws it upfield. It's almost picked off. Terrence Parks had a shot at the 45. Tried to get his tight end. And Robert Gordon, run, uh, Richard Gordon, running a nice route, and Ja'Cory Harris just sailed one by him. Knowles go with a nickel defensive set. Mr. Alexander goes to the sideline. Out of the shotgun, the snap. Out of the shotgun, the down. Hey, he's under pressure. Got the pass away. Caught by Benjamin. He's going to be hit at the 26-yard line. Sandwiched by Michael Harris. And one of the linebackers, I think it was Kendall Smith, that got over there as well. Out of the shotgun, the snap. Ja'Cory Harris looking left, looking left, caught ball, and a snag tackle down short of the 30-yard line. Big tackle, Greg Reed. And the Canes come up short of the first down. Everybody in their two tight ends, handoff. They'll run it over the top, first down, and to the 35-yard line. Barry almost busted it. First down at the 35. First gamble of the game by either team. Dropping Shannon out of the shotgun. That's nearly picked off oh. by Brandon Jenkins. Right in his mitts, and he had six points. And the defensive end out of Tallahassee, Florida, could not hang on to it. Well, they tried a little dump-off pass, a quick hitter, and Brandon had it in his paws. Damian Barry had some running room if they execute. Knowles have converted a fumble into a touchdown already. Shotgun set from the 35, moving left. Knowles up 21-0. Here's the pass near side. It is caught on the sideline, short of the first down, I believe, at the 44-yard line. But a nice catch by Travis Benjamin. And Ja'Cory Harris underneath his center will hand the ball on the stretch play, running to the left side of the formation. It is Mike James, and he's got a first down. 7.41 to go in the second quarter. Florida State has scored three touchdowns and lead 21 to nothing. Benjamin wide to the right. Here's the snap on first down. Harris looking, throwing the fly ride far side line. It is caught inbounds at the 21-yard line. Out at the 19. Greg Reed can't knock it away from Travis Benjamin. It's a 31-yard pass. Mike James and Damian Berry in the backfield. Offset eye from the 19. First down. Play action fake dropping Harris. It's the pass away. And it's thrown behind Mike James. I don't think Mike James was ready for the pass to come his way. Second down, 10. Harris looking left, looking left, far to the left. It is juggled and incomplete. Nice job, Mike Harris, to bat the ball away. Was that chase four to tight end? It was. Shotgun formation. Barry in the slot to the right with Hankerson. Here's the snap out of the gun. Looking, looking over the middle, looking over the pass. It's all juggled and caught at the 10, to the 5, to the 2-yard line. Leonard Hankerson's got him knocking on the Seminole door. It's Harris takes that, gives the ball a handoff to Barry. He stopped right at the line of scrimmage, running left. Florida State's defense trying to dig in now. 21-0 score, FSU. DeCorey Harris will take the snap. 
Play action on the bootleg. Rolling to his right. Still rolling. Still rolling. He's going to dive into the end zone. Touchdown Miami Hurricane. Florida State 21. Miami 6. 5.53 to go in the first half. 13 play drive. Foster's point after is good. Chris Thompson is back there along with Gray Green. Bosher pretty good at putting toe to leather and giving you a touchback. He approaches. Here's the kick. End over end will come down three yards deep. Will they return it? Yet Chris Thompson, our bigger Reed, Reed will. Reed to the middle of the field. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 30, to the 35. Reed to the 40, to the 45. Reed to the 50. He's still on his feet to the Miami 45 yard line. You looking for a statement, William Floyd? Well, bar none, he just gave you a statement. From three yards deep, he just took it to the Miami 45 yard line. And that's what you have to like about this kid, Greg Reed. He's such an exciting player. You know, he's going to catch the ball. He's not going to let it go out of bounds. If he's one yard heading one yard out and even with that ball being two three yards in the end zone Usually you have a returner nail that ball He wants to make plays so bad that he's gonna bring it out And usually when you have a player who has that intensity and that much want to they're gonna get the job done for you First down and ten for the Florida State Seminoles 55 yard kick returned by Greg Reed High formation, toss pitch, Knowles will run the double reverse It is Taiwan easily snagged in the backfield, he's sacked First time we run the reverse and it backfires, a loss of nine. Second down, 19, the reverse backfires, bites us. Out of the shotgun, inside handoff, running to the right, Jermaine Thomas is tackled with a big stick in the backfield, got it back to the line of scrimmage, but safety Vaughn Telemac was reading run penalty of the game for 31 yards on the Canes who threatened blitz. High formation, Knowles, handoff running to the right, Jermaine Thomas, he's going to wiggle his face way mask. to the 33-yard line. Boy, the way he came down, you'd think a face mask, but apparently there was none, no flag thrown. Florida State on the move, leading 21-7 to now. A gain of five by Jermaine Thomas. Jermaine Thomas in this game... Eight carries, 69 yards. Second down and six. I know you can probably see that replay at home, Nose fans. You know that Miami just got away with the face mask, but hey, let's make it happen, Nose. Second down, six, maybe six and a half. One back set with a tight end, Rutherford in motion from right to left, the snap. Ponder hands the ball off. This is Jermaine Thomas. Gives a little rope. He's tackled back at the 40-yard line. A shoe comes off. And the Knowles will face third down and long. Third down and 13. And Colin McCarthy, who was flagged for a personal foul just a moment ago, came down with a big tackle there. Knowles need to reach the Hurricane 26-yard line. 3.39 to go in the first half. Florida State 21, Miami 7. And I think what we've got to do is continue to attack. You know, Jermaine Thomas, he got outside a couple of times on the goal line, but in the field, he's been more successful running the ball inside the tackles. I don't want us to get away from that. We have not thrown the ball on this series. Probably will here on third down. A dozen or also five on that previous play. Here's the snap out of the gun. Pressure coming. Ponder throws. It is two. Oh, it's caught on the 21-yard line. Through the hands of one receiver and Burt Reed on his knees. Makes the snag of the 21. Wow, you got to have a little luck in a rivalry game, and that was a lucky play. Knowles needed 12, and we got 17 on his knees at the 21, Burt Reed. That was a very lucky play, and I don't know if that ball wasn't intended for Burt Reed in the first place, and Chris Thompson got his hands on it and deflected that, and it just happened to fall right into Burt Reed's hands, so we definitely got lucky on that First play. pass play of this drive after the Greg Reed return to the Miami 45. First down 10. Run to the narrow side. Chris Thompson tripped up by the ankles at the 25-yard line. He'll lose four and a half. Right now, I don't think our team speed. We don't have. We, we're not going to be able to outspeed Miami like that to the side to the uh, to the to the sideline because they have just as much speed as us. But right now, with them pursuing as much as they are, is a great time for play action. You're a little surprised that Miami has not spent a timeout. They have all three on the clock ticking down to 2:22 left in the first half. Florida State 21, Miami seven. See if they turn Ponder loose to throw now on second down, 15. Thompson lost five. Two tight ends set, Little and Rutherford. Here's his out. Up the gut goes the run. It's Chris Thompson to the 19-yard line. Boy, a quick hitter right up the middle. You think the Dole's going to run outside with uh, speed back Chris Thompson in there from Madison, Florida? Shotgun formation. Ponder on the inside flip. It's Burt Reed. He makes a cut, and he's dropped at the 20-yard line. That'll bring on Dustin Hopkins of the Seminole field goal unit with a minute 54 to go. 37-yard, 38-yard field goal. 
attempt by Dustin Hopkins out of the hold of Sean Powell. Good snap, good hold. Kick is airborne, and Hopkins puts it right between the uprights of the Seminoles and their fourth score of the game. This one a field goal. Ja'Cory Harris is limping as they go to the locker room at halftime. Florida State 24, Miami 7. And we are ready to play football in the third quarter. Danger in orange jerseys, white hats, white pants. But Oles are in white jerseys, gold pants, and gold hats. 24-7 at halftime. Can the Oles hang on and win? The kick by Matt Bosher is returnable. Will come down at the 10-yard line. And to the 20 comes Greg Reed. Greg Reed is all the way out to the 32-yard line. And that's where Florida State will begin the first series of the third quarter. We are underway. I think this is a huge drive for Florida State, you know, coming out after halftime, having leads, first few games of the season. We haven't came out particularly strong in the third quarter, not dominant. We've uh, took a little bit of time off and been able to turn it back on towards the end of the third or the, the beginning of the fourth quarter. But right now, we need to be able to come out of the locker room hitting on all cylinders. FSU will start at the 31, moving left to right on your radio, heading toward the east end zone. Chris Thompson in motion, shifts to the left side wing, play action fake by Ponder, dropping back with the looks to his left, fires to his left, it is incomplete. Tried to throw, I believe, Lonnie Pryor, although there was another Seminole in the air, did Pryor knock that down, thinking he was the intended target. Ponder bought some time with a nice play action fake, but could not find an open receiver and elected not to try to challenge that Miami secondary that includes some legitimate first, second round draft picks. Ryan Hill, Ray Ray Armstrong, Vaughn Telemac, and Brandon Harris. Florida State second down 10 from the 31 yard line moving right out of the shotgun pistol. Hand off and a cut back by Chris Thompson. He's to the 40, to the 45, uh -oh. to the 50, 45, 40. He's to the 35, 30. Hangs onto the ball. Is dragged down at the 24-yard line of Miami. Great run by Chris Thompson. And the Knowles are inside the Hurricane 25. Ryan Hill ran him down from behind. Ryan Hill from Tallahassee Rickards High School. But a 45-yard run. And somebody else lost a shoe. They'll spot the ball right at the 25-yard line. Knowles get the first down and then some. And what that is, Gene, is just a scratch play. And, you know, Thompson watches all that traffic go away from him, cuts back behind it, turns on the speed, picks up a huge game. Knowles up 24-7, early third quarter. Moving right, out of the eye. Hand off left side, Jermaine Thomas sort of stumble, picks up the left leg and is dragged down now at the 23-yard line. Looked like he stumbled a little bit. Maybe somebody stepped on him or something, never got his balance. High formation. Play action, fake ponder, rolling right, throws the ball, caught at the 20 to the 15-yard line. Bo Rutherford, number 88 in your program, and for a tight end, the last two weeks, he's really come into play, hasn't he? Second down and inches, twin receivers to the left of ponder eye formation. Pryor and Pryor with a quick bust up the gut. He's got the ball to the 10-5. Touchdown of Fisher. No score first of the third quarter. Pryor refusing to go down. Broke a tackle of the line of scrimmage. Needed an inch and he got 15 yards. And you know what? Thank you very much, Zebra Sanders. Rodney Hudson and McMahon, I tell you what, you just mashed that entire side of the Miami defense in a good churning. You know what we call that play, Gene? That's 34 belly. And you give it 34 belly to the fullback and let him see what he can do. Excellent run by Pryor. And that belly with a capital B, too. Florida State 30, Miami 7. Point after touchdown. Good snap, good hold by Powell. The kick is airborne and good. And Florida State leads 31 to 7. Kings. About to touch the ball for the first time in the second half. Hopkins approaches. There's the kick. High end over end will come down around the 10. Cooper will look for a wedge up the middle. Runs to his right. Gets to the corner. And Greg Reed knocks him out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Florida State leads Miami 31-7 from the 31-yard line. Canes move right to left in orange. One back set, play action fake. Harris dropping to throw, looking to throw. He shoveled the ball ahead. It's a shovel pass in front of the 35. Gain of four, and Damian Berry helps out his quarterback. Pocket started to collapse, and Ja'Cory Harris was knocked down. A quarterback hurry, but he succeeds in getting a five-yard pass completion. Gain of four, second down at six. 
Harris drops five steps, throws the pass near side, knocked away at the last moment. Great play by Xavier Rhodes. He has been a thorn in the side of Leonard Hankerson and Ja'Cory Harris tonight. Another pass breakup by the redshirt freshman from Miami Norland High School. Ja'Cory Harris out of the shotgun. The snap. Seminoles run a little stun up front. Ja'Cory Harris's pass is caught. Hankerson, a Seminole, lost a shoe. What is it about the shoes tonight? Nigel Bradham lost a shoe, and he may have had responsibility in that zone coverage, but a third down and six conversion. I mean, it's not a secret. You already know who they're going to on third down. Find Leonard Hankerson and make sure he's not the guy that beats you. 13 yards on third and six shotgun. First down from the 49. Over the middle of pass goes. It is caught at the, by Ron Bird, and he is defeathered. At the 41-yard line. <laughs> Second down and one. And Xavier Rhodes will go to the sideline, and LaMarcus Joyner, a true freshman, will fill in for him, or try to. Second down one. See if they work on the true freshman from Fort Lauderdale. Here's the snap. Knowles confused. Dropping a wide open receiver, and he didn't see him. He gets the pass off to Hankerson. Comes near side to the 30. He's topped at the 26-yard line. My goodness, they'll look at video of this thing on Monday morning, and they'll say Mike James would have had six. High formation. They will run the ball. A bounce to the right side by Damian Berry. He's inside the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Three missed tackles. Touchdown, Miami. 31 to 13. Low snap, dug out. Cook kick is airborne. He's missed only one in his career. Uh, Seminole 44 moving left. Jermaine Thomas in the backfield flanks Christian Ponder in the shotgun. Reed goes in motion. They run Jermaine Thomas, and he stopped as he got to the 47-yard line or near it. A gain of two by Jermaine Thomas. One back set from the 47 moving left. Second down eight. Here's the snap. Play action on a drop back throw by Ponder. Rolling to his right. Ponder. He's going to run with the ball. Ponder to the 45. Ponder to the 50. He's to the 45. He's knocked out of bounds at the Hurricane 42. Great running by Ponder. It looked like they were going to nail him in the backfield. And Colin McCarthy playing his final game against the Seminoles, I hope, <laughs> makes that tackle. But Ponder goes for 10, and that's a first down. Huge run by Christian. 31-17, Knowles, 12-28 to go. They'll start the clock as soon as the chain gang is set. And it's ticking now with 12-23 left. By the way, in Gainesville, LSU is upset Florida, 33-29. Don't drive off the road, Seminoles. From the 43, hand off your main town. Quinn Hitter up the middle, and Thomas is to the Hurricane 35. Now, you've got a 14-point lead. You just secured a big first down. You're in Miami territory, and now it's time to pound the rock. High formation from the Hurricane 36. Hand off to Chris Thompson, runs into a blocker, wiggles his way inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Did not get the first down. FSU will face third down in one. The mark to make is the Hurricane 33-yard line. Florida State leading 31-17, to 17, facing third down and about one and a half yards. Rodney Smith wide to the left. High formation, Knowles. Handoff running up the gut. Goes Chris Thompson first down to the 29. Boy, was he leaning his body forward to make sure he got that first down, and he got some extra. Yeah, he was leaning, Gene, making sure that if he did get some contact, he was going to keep going forward and not go backwards. Big up, big click, uh, big pickup right now for the first down. 10:39 left in the ball game. Florida State 31, Miami 17. Knowles on the move. Huddle clock at 22, and Christian Ponder said, "Hey, fellas, we don't need to be in a hurry now." FSU with the Miami 30 moving left toward the west end zone and leading by 14. High formation, Knowles, Ponder hands it off, and with the ball, Chris Thomas. Thompson is tackled in the backfield for a loss of one. Well, the Miami Hurricanes average nearly 10 tackles for loss a game. That's tops of the country. And they get another one there. Florida State 31, Miami 17, a loss of two. We'll bring up second down and 12 from the Miami 31-yard line. You can tell right now by the way the running backs are running the ball, two hands on the ball in the thicket, not one to give up a turnover to Miami down here on our side of the field. Second down a dozen facing Christian Ponder of the Seminoles. Trip receivers to the left. Thompson the setback. Fire was in motion. Bootleg roll to the right. Bootleg roll to the right. Ponder throws upfield. Incomplete. Taiwan Easterly. The intended receiver. Boy, was he blanketed. 
by good coverage, rolling with his quarterback to the far side of the field. Taiwan could not make the catch of the Seminole space third down and 12. Shotgun formation, ponder. Inside hand off, it's two. Thompson makes a guy miss. He's to the 20. Yard line on his feet. He's to the 18. Great effort by the little kid from Madison, Florida. He's got a Seminole first down. That was a heap of want to in that jersey that has number 23 on it. That is the way you run the ball, young man. That's just want to. That's a kid wanting to get the job done. Runs hard, has to run through three or four arm tackles. Big pickup for the first down. Chris Thompson, good job. On third down and a dozen, he gets 15, 14 yards. Chris Thompson in the backfield, pistol formation, Christian Ponder. Twin receivers to either side. Here's the snap out of the pistol, handoff to Chris Thompson, running right. He zigzags and it's nailed. Boy, somebody, a headhunter coming in there, got an angle on him, and he made him miss. But ran right back into the teeth of that orange-clad defense of the Hurricanes. He got a couple, and the Knowles will face third down and nine. Third down, ten it is. Out of the pistol, there's the snap, all-out pressure. Flag route to the near side. Rodney Smith makes the yes. catch. Touchdown, FSU! Rodney Smith with his first career catch. A fade route near sideline. Christian Ponder right on the money. And Ponder to Rodney Smith. Point after touchdown, a high snap, but Hopkins delayed that right leg kick until Sean Powell had headed on the turf. And the point after is good. And Florida State leads Miami 38-17. to Fourth and 10 with 6 to eight to go. Clock will start on the snap of the ball. Out of the shotgun. They need to reach the Seminole 21. Here's the snap. Four-man rush. Ja'Cory Harris flushed out of the pocket. Goes the pass over the middle. It's intercepted. Picked off of the 12-yard line. LaMarcus Joyner has his first career pick. That's what he was looking for. He picks off Ja'Cory Harris. And the Hurricanes give it up on fourth down and 10. And Harris makes the pick at the 16-yard line. And FSU will have the ball with 5.59 to go. Five minutes, 59 seconds to go. The Chiefs and the war chant gets louder and louder. A chance to make it three straight successful trips to South Florida. From the 16-yard line, the Seminole 16. Hand off to the right side. Bouncing up the middle is Chris Thompson, and he stopped at the 19-yard line. Jimbo Fisher will celebrate his 45th birthday today, and he was waiting to laugh for the ball game. Guess what he wanted for his birthday? Here's the snap. Hand off to the right. Chris Thompson. There is a flag, probably a hold. And Thompson breaks free to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. He breaks the tackle of the 35. He's down to the 30. But I think this one is coming back. High formation, second down, 16 from the nine yard, the 10 yard line. Hand off to the second man through. That's Thompson. Breaks a hole. Uh -oh. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 30. Nobody's going to catch him. There are no flags. Florida State's Chris Thompson has just uh -oh. gone 89. Make the check that. 70, 86 yards. That was beautiful. I mean, he runs, he hits that hole, he doesn't look back, and he's riding it out about 60 yards down the field. Beautiful play. Chris Thompson made a cane miss, darted to the far sideline, and raced to the promised land, the west end zone at Sun Life Stadium. And the Sun Life scoreboard shows Seminoles 44, Hurricane 17. How about those two sprints he just ran, William Floyd? Back to back. My goodness. It'll be a happy night in the Seminole Nation as Dustin Hopkins puts it through the uprights and Florida State leads Miami 44 to 7, 45 to 17. Florida State making a statement on national TV tonight by coming in to the Hurricanes den and really giving them a woodshed whooping 45 17. 25 seconds to go. One more snap of the football. Letting that huddle clock kick down to four. With the football, a draw play handoff, and that'll be the game's final play. Unless Miami takes a timeout, they won't. Randy Shannon says that's the ball game, and he runs across the field to salute Jimbo Fisher. Jimbo Fisher, happy birthday. And Chaz Henry will put total leather. He is their punter slash kicker. Pressed into duty because of the injury to Caleb Sturgis. 
We are ready to get this game underway. Florida will kick away. They're in white jerseys. Knowles are in guarded. Here's total leather. Returnable kick by Reed to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 33, to the 34-yard line. Reed running from left to right across the field. Bo Relliford, a tight end, is wide to the right. A little different look out of the pistol formation. They threaten the blitz. And Ponder changes the cadence count. They were going to blitz Hicks from the right side, a linebacker. Here's the snap. Pass to the right side, caught, blocked, and to the 47-yard line. Taiwan Easterling has a Seminole first down. Knowles move left first down at the 47-yard line. Seminole 47 in motion. Lonnie Pryor to the right wing. Bondo will run the option. Pitches the ball to the back, and Chris Thompson is knocked out of the line of scrimmage. Gators read that option pitch very well, and coming up and pressing was quarterback Janoris Jenkins. Almost like he was in the Seminole huddle. He knew exactly how to play that play. Janoris Jenkins, an outstanding corner, a junior from Pahokee. Yeah, good play by Jenkins. Really just getting behind the block from Pryor. Pryor tried to lay a block on him, and he got past that and was able to get in there to Chris Thompson and make that good tackle for a loss. Second down, shotgun formation. Dropping Ponder, looking Ponder, throwing Ponder. It's caught at the 50, to the 45. Bert Reed makes a guy miss to the 40. He's inside the 38-yard line. And here comes a flag late. Boy, Bert Reed made the catch and made a guy miss at the 48-yard line. Brought down at the 38. He gains 10 after contact. And a flag thrown at the point where Reed was brought down. 16-yard gain on the catch by Reed. Florida State just shy of the red zone at the 22, moving left. Two-back formation in motion. Swings Chris Thompson. Pass to the start slant. Dropped in the midst of Rodney Smith in and out of his hands on a hard slant around the 15-yard line. Good throw by Ponder. Probably should have been caught. Incomplete pass brings up second down and 10. Yeah, I think if Rodney Smith had that back again, he definitely want to try to reach out and grab that with his hands. He tried to let that ball get into his body. And when you're playing against a good defensive backfield like the Gators, you got to make sure you use your hands, not let that ball get to your body. I'm on black and on that play defensively. Shotgun formation, second and 10. Inside handoff by to Pryor, and Pryor's going to be nailed for very little gain at the 19-yard line. That's a gain of three, maybe two and a half, depending on the spot. We'll bring up third down. And seven or eight. Florida State moving right to left. This drive began after the opening kickoff at the Florida State 34-yard line. Big catch by Burr Reed and a face pass penalty. Gave FSU first down at the 22. Now the Dole's trying to convert on third down and seven. Third and seven, the mark to make is the Florida 12-yard line. Shotgun formation. Trip receivers right. Here's the snap. Ponder. They run a stunt. Ponder throws a post. It is too tall off the fingertips of intended receiver tight end Bo Relliford. Well, Ponder had a little bit of heat just as he pulled the trigger. And that may have carried that ball a little too tall for Relliford to jump up and snag. Incomplete pass brings up fourth down. And in comes Dustin Hopkins and the Seminole kick crew. A hold by John, by Sean Powell will be at the 28-yard line. A 38-yard field goal attempt from the near side hash mark into the north end zone. Knowles trying to score first against Florida. Good snap. The spot. Here's the kick. Airborne long enough. Long enough and it's good. Florida State 3. Florida nothing. The Seminoles have scored way too many field goals in this series the last three years. However, you want touchdowns when you get it into the red zone. We'll take a 3-0 start though, won't we? 3 nothing. Now Hopkins will kick wind out of the north today. Mike Gillisley and Andre Dubose. Deep Dubose has run back one this year. Hopkins, total leather, line drive, knuckleball thing, bounces, returnable from the five-yard line. It is Dubose to the 35, to the 45, to the 50, to the 40. He is run out of bounds at the 33-yard line. 62-yard return, Trey Burton at a quarterback. He's first of the Wildcat. He'll run the butt ball, and he's tackled at the 31, falls to the 30-yard line. I think the key by the Seminole defense is that when Trey Burton is in a quarterback, he's not known as a throwing quarterback. Be wary of his draw play, play fake, and run. And Anthony McLeod stuffs that run right up the gut, a gain of two, hurrying up offense four. Three-nothing ball game, and Burton stays in as the quarterback. From the 30, moving right. 
John Brantley has checked in, I beg your pardon. He's the QB now. Burton took the first snap. Play action, handoff. They'll run the ball to the right side of the 20, inside the 20-yard line. Goes Chris Rainey. And Rainey's got a first down to the Seminole 19. That's a gain of 10 yards for up right guard. Not much resistance there. Nick Moody and Kendall Smith finally brought down the Gator ball carry. Brantley at quarterback with an empty backfield now. Three receivers to his left, two to his right, and they'll swing Rainey in motion. In the backfield, the swing pass is too short for him to handle. Led him a little too far. Rainey could not make the catch. Second down and 10. Looks like a wishbone set, doesn't it? With a quarterback in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Inside handoff. Knowles read the run. Stopped at the 20, a loss of one. Nowhere for Rainey to run as Kendall Smith stuffs the run. Third down, 11. 3 nothing ball game. Florida State with an opening drive field goal. Haters try to answer. Get a huge kickoff return. Get one first down. Now face third down, 11 from the 20. Brantley has thrown eight touchdowns. He's thrown eight interceptions. Probably a passing down. Out of the gun. Empty backfield. From the 20, they need to reach the Seminole 9. Brantley shouts a new play to his offensive line. Four on the huddle. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. Pressure coming. Gets the pass away. Caught. First down to the 10-5. Touchdown for the Gators. 20-yard touchdown throw and catch. Down. Florida answers the opening drive by the Knowles. They get six. Now make it seven as Chaz Henry kicks the point after. And Florida leads seven to three. Brantley at quarterback. Swing pass to the right side. It is caught at the 15. Oh! Fumble football. It's on the deck. Recovered by FSU yes. at the 18-yard line. Xavier Rhodes has two of them now. Gators playing loosey-goosey. Almost a first down, and Greg Reed makes the strip. And Xavier Rhodes recovers two turnovers. And the Knowles have it inside the 20. Great job that time by Greg Reed. Just great defense. Sees the receiver coming out there. Goes up and gets him. It's going to be a pretty little, nice little game. But Reed comes up, sticks his hand in there. He's going for the tackle. Ball pops out. And Xavier Rose in the right place at the right time. Able to recover the fumble. Now the Knowles have to make the Gators pay, don't they? We gave up. We got a fumble recovery the last time and could not get a touchdown or a field goal. Xavier Rhodes, Johnny on the spot. First down, Seminoles with 12.48 to go in the second quarter. From the Gators, 17. Moving right, the snap. Handoff, running left. Thompson makes his cut. Bounces off a tackle. He's to the 10-yard line near the 9. Just a whole heap of one-two by little number 23. It looked like the play was stopped after a gain of two, but he gets five more after contact. Gator 10, second down, three. Ponder handoff on the belly dive. It's fire to the 5 3 2. Yes. Flood. Touchdown FSU. Lonnie Pryor up the gut on the touchdown FSU. And I want to get this right this time. Gene is no longer the 34 belly. It's the 14 belly that the fullback gets. Excellent run by Pryor. When he gets the ball in his hands, look for him to do something. He doesn't get many at bats. When he gets the ball, he's going to do something with it. Another touchdown. Lonnie Pryor with a draw play. The 30, the belly dive of the Seminoles lead for the second time of the game. It is 9-7. to seven. Points off Gator turnovers. Point after touchdown, airborne and good. And Florida State leads Florida 10 to 7. At the Gator five yard line. Kicked by Hopkins, end over end, comes down, returnable by DuBose from the two. Comes to the middle part of the field. He is fast. There's a flag thrown. He's tackled at the 28 yard line. Outstanding play by one of those Seminole Gunners. Jordan Reed, a quarterback, takes the snap, hands the ball off. No, oh, he's going to run the ball. It's Reed, breaks the tackle to the 31-yard line. Longest play of the game, and that freshman showing first down. Look out. He's in a quarterback. Now he pump fakes, throws the far sideline route down. Field. Greg Reed goes up for the pick and can't do it. Incomplete pass at the Seminole 30-yard line. Greg Reed covered a lot of territory, and he comes up to the near sideline. He's looked like he hurt himself coming down after knocking that pass away. He needs some attendance and some attention from trainer Randy Orovitz. Seminoles are going to have to get another corner in there, and we do. Second down, 15. Seventh penalty, 56 yards. 
From the 27, Jordan Reed's going to run the quarterback draw again. He is going to get it out to the 35-yard line. He is a step quicker than Tim Tebow. Third down, six, and Brantley is back in a quarterback to throw on third down. Throws the crossing pass. It is incomplete at the 40-yard line. Big stick by Mike Harris. Leaping high into the air to make the grab. Gator receiver Frankie Hammond was split in two and could not hang on. It's a... Fourth down, and Florida would be forced to punt. Chaz Henry will stand in, a senior from Dallas. And Greg Reed is back into the game. They're going to run the fake punt with the ball. Chaz Henry stopped short of the 40, I believe. I don't think he got the first down. Knowles Reed, the fake punt. See if they give him. No, they don't. He stopped the half yard short of the first down. Yes. Great play, Seminole special teams. Telvin Smith comes up there, I believe, and thwarted a fake punt by the Gators. FSU with a 10-7 lead, and we get the football back. Justin Bright, maybe it was. Great discipline. Just great discipline by the return team. 10.52 to go. Florida State moving right. Dropping back to throw. Ponder has time. Throws a fade route down the near sideline. It is caught. Smith yes. five. Touchdown to Fish Oh, my move. goodness. Touchdown, Florida State. Ponder with a perfect pass. 39 yards. Make them pay, Knowles. Can we do? Excellent play right there, Gene. What you saw was Ponder drop back. Him and Ross Smith were on the same page. It's a pump fake. Double move by the wide receiver. The corner bites. Can't get back quick enough to defend the play. And an excellently thrown ball. Excellent catch by Ross Smith. Touchdown, Florida State. Fake punt. Backfires and bites Urban Meyer, doesn't it? Florida State. With a 16 to 7 lead. Point after touchdown attempt. Good snap. Powell the holder. Kick airborne and good. Florida State 17. Florida 7. Smith in motion. I formation. Hand off and running the ball. It's Ty Jones to the 40. He's to the 45 yard line. Staying on schedule. Moving the chains. It was second down and five. And Jones goes eight yards. And a seminal first down. Will Hill hanging on for dear life. 13 yards, I beg your pardon, as we recompute. Eight minutes, two seconds to go. Florida State's got the ball. Ty Jones is in the backfield. Seminoles are one out of four on third down. Need to reach the Gator 45. Here's the snap out of the gun. Good protection. Potter throws a rope. Caught. First down. Bo Relliford. He's got the ball to the 40-yard line of Florida. <laughs> Relliford now coming into play in the offense. His first catch, the second time he's been targeted. Knowles needed nine and got 14. How about the big fella trying to show he has good feet, does a little pirouette, turns right up over his shadow, but does the most important thing, Gene, which is get upfield north and south, pick up the first down. Florida State against a five-man front by the Gators and a linebacker threatening a blitz. From the 40, dropping to throw, Ponder throwing the pass, and it's caught. Rodney Smith, first down at the 27. We haven't seen the hard slant all season long, but Ponder and Smith have something cooking today. That's a nice throw and a remarkable catch, and Will Hill made him pay. 13 yards on the throw and catch to the Gator 27. Florida State moving left to right. We lead by 10. Fresh set of downs to the Gator 27. First down, hand off on a stretch handoff, and there's nowhere for Ty Jones to run. A loss of two on the carry by Jones. The mark to make for the Seminole offense, the uh, Florida 17. Trip receivers to the uh, left of Christian Ponder. Tight end Bo Rutherford lines up on the right side of the line. From the 30, play fake on the inside, a draw play, a run by Ponder to the 15, to the, to the 20, to the 19-yard line. Ponder with a fake handoff and a quarterback run for a gain of 10. Huge third down opportunity, Florida State now. Receivers double up on the right side, Halstead and Smith. Knowles need to reach the 17 from the 19, about two and a half yards away. The snap, Ponder drops back to throw, fakes, throws it back. It is caught, first down, right at the marker, right at the 16-yard line, Lonnie Pryor. That was a throw low, and Pryor had to get down as low as he could to snag it. Big play, Lonnie Pryor, and that'll move the sticks. Another fresh set of downs, first down and 10 of the 16. Florida State first down to the Gator 16, high formation, handoff left side. It is Ty Jones, not much running room, but he gets a little Inside the 15. Boy, running left. Gators doing some stuff after the tackle made, and the whistle sounds a gain of maybe one. Shotgun set, moving right. Toward the south end zone. Prior flanks. Ponder. Here's the snap. 
Ponder looks, pump fake, throws a fade route, near side corner, it's caught! Yes. Oh! oh! Dropped in the end zone by Bo Rutherford. He had two minutes on it and a step down to the end zone. It would have been a touchdown and he held on. Well, you go back to the North Carolina State game. Bo Rutherford was wide open on that play when we fumbled it. He was wide open on that one, just twiggered. And then Old Space third down and eight and a half. Boy, that was a touchdown waiting to happen, wasn't it? Shotgun set, pondered. Awaits the snap from McMahon. Two receivers to his right. Here's the snap. Four-man rush. Ponder. Coxyar fires. Underneath. Caught by a Taiwan East. Three to one. Touchdown effort. Easterly takes it to the house. Great throw. Great catch. On third down and nine. A 15-yard touchdown pass. Taiwan Easterly with his fourth touchdown of the season. And the Knowles lead. 23 to 7. And that's just a well schemed play right there, Gene. Basically, you have all the receivers, those three receivers, you have two out of those three receivers running street routes up the field, clearing out everybody. Easterlin wastes, he's patient, comes underneath all that. Ponder finds him, he's wide open, nobody to guard him. Great offensive line work, too. You've got to give credit to the big guys that go to the buffet on a regular basis. They gave Ponder all the protection he needed, bought him the extra time, point after touchdown. Dustin Hopkins, good. Florida State 24, Florida 7. Gators ready to work now. Second down eight from the Seminole 20. John Brantley at quarterback. Rainey in the backfield with him. Here's the drop back by Brantley. Looking Brantley, throwing Brantley. It's intercepted. Picked off by Harris in the five-yard line. Harris to the 10. Flag thrown. He's brought down to the 22. Michael Harris picks off Brantley inside the 10-yard line. Florida State's got the ball with 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Just need a good exchange from McMahon. He does. There's the kneel down. And that'll do it. Florida State will head to the locker room with a huge halftime lead. But remember, this is a rivalry game. And there are 30 minutes of football left. Florida State 24, Florida 7 at intermission. That's the end of the first half. Florida State will kick away. Florida won the toss, deferred to the second half. And Andre Dubow stands where he did on the first kickoff. The Dustin Hopkinson, and he ran it back 62 yards. Here is the kick, total leather. End over end, comes down at the six-yard line, and DeBose comes to the near side. Got a block, and he's dropped down to the 25. Much better special teams play on that kickoff, and it was Mike Harris. Michael Harris, a junior from Miami, making that stop. And a quarterback, Jordan Reed, he led everybody in rushing in the first half. 63 yards on 10 carries. He is the quarterback shotgun, and he'll run the ball. Looks like a single leg attack running to his left. Running to his left, the Knowles read the run. Bring him down to the 27-yard line. They just string it out and string it out, and Everett Dawkins was chasing Jordan Reed and brought him down. That's a gain of three, second down, seven. It is the old single wing, isn't it? Yeah, basically, and I mean, I think that the Reed reads true. If Jordan is in there, he's going to run the football. Jordan Reed. Trey Burton are in the backfield now. They get on the same page, moving right from the 28-yard line, so it's second down and seven. They'll play fake, and a run by Reed, and he stopped at the 30-yard line for a gain of two. Burton in motion. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. Pressure coming. Brantley flushed out. He's sacked at the 28-yard line. Quarterback sack, Brandon Jenkins. He's got 11, his first of the game. And that's what we needed right here. We needed to let Florida know that this is our day, this is our time, our game. Defensively come out, shut them down on their first series. That's the only reason you take second half option, Gene, is you want to be able to come out with your offense, go down the field and get points. Not able to do that. Now offensively, we know that we can just move this ball downfield, put points on the board. Yes, Henry the punt just got it away. Big booming punt. Returnable by Reed for the 29. No, he called for the fair catch. I beg your pardon. Second down and 10 moving left from the Seminole 29. Handoff running is Chris Thompson. Makes his cut. Keeps his balance to the 40. To the 42-yard line. Littlest guy on the field in a guarded jersey. Gets a gain of a Baker's dozen. 13 yards. A defender had him on his hip pads. And he wiggled off the hook. And he got a gain of 13 first down. You know, you're looking at that little that little compact body of Chris Thompson. Only 5'8", 185 pounds. But he runs through tackles. 
because he's always pulling his legs, making sure his legs are moving, getting forward, and has great acceleration getting up the field. Now you're on schedule. Seminoles get a first down, move it out to the 42. First down, 10. Florida State 24, Florida 7. Third quarter just underway. Knowles move right to left on your radio, head toward the north end zone. In motion comes Burt Reed to the near side, high formation. Handoff, Ponder gives it to Thompson. He busts it to the 45, a gain of three and a half. Third down and a long six, a short seven. The mark to make just inside the Gator 49. Three on the huddle clock, the snap out of the gun. Ponder looking, looking, plants his feet, throws the pass. Caught! First down at the 45 to the 40, Bo Relliford. He's got a big catch and a first down on third down and seven. 16 yards to Big Bo, number 98 in your program. And really just a square in route, a 10-yard, 12-yard route, 10 to 15-yard route. Relliford is able to get in there, get basically in the middle of the field where nobody guard him. And that's what I always say about an offense, especially an offense that utilizes the fullback and the tight end. Sometimes those guys can get lost in defensive coverage. Flyer and Thompson in the backfield. Burton Reed wide to the right. I formation moving left from the 39. Ponder out pass to the left side, right side. Caught by Reed. Close to a first down. They'll give him a catch and a run to the 30-yard line. Short by maybe a half foot. Janoris Jenkins coverage responsibility. The boy Ponder put it right on his hip. Didn't he? Fourth down and a foot. Maybe draw the Gator defense offside. Fourth down and inches. Now Ponder shifts over to a right a quarterback sneak, and Ponder got the first down. Needed a foot, and he got a yard. And with that Florida State first down, Tires Plus will donate another $25 to the Pediatric Cancer Foundation. First down, 10, Florida State. And they must have heard you, William, because he ran right over the back of a guy that's the current Jacobs Blocking Trophy recipient and honoree Rodney Hudson. First down, FSU. The Knowles go for it on fourth down and secure it at the 29-yard line. Moving right to left on your radio, leading 24 to 7. Heading toward the north end zone. Chris Thompson swings in motion. Out of the backfield. Here's the snap. Ponder drops. Gets protected. Oh, gets through the pass. Throw down a rope. It's caught. Oh, my Touchdown goodness. Touchdown to Fesho. Great throw. Great catch. Ponder was hit as he released. A 29-yard throw and catch to Willie Halstead. Remarkable throw under heat and a tremendous leaping catch at the goal line. Wow! Florida State leads 30 to 7. 10 play Florida State drive. And really just an excellent play when you look at what happened. That deep slant, Ponder drops back, gets his five steps in the pocket, and by the time he gets there, Hallstead already has the inside leverage on the defender, and all Ponder has to do is put it in his numbers. Excellent catch for the touchdown. Point after touchdown, they're always important, aren't they? And it's good. Dustin Hopkins has not missed one since early last year. But Ponder, with a three with a three touchdown game, Florida State leading 31-7, you don't want your quarter get back to get beat up if you've got to play in a championship game next week. Exactly. It's a possibility of that. You just want Christian Potter to come out of this game healthy. Hadn't been real healthy at the end of the season, but you want him to come out of this game healthy. Manuel, a quarterback, will hand the ball off. Chris Thompson bobs his way out to the 15-yard line. Well, they'll say he's short by about a yard, and Florida Gators still continue to dish it out after a, the whistle had sounded. Trateau may have gotten away with rolling into a similar after the whistle. Jonathan Bostick and A.J. Jones made the tackle. E.J. Manuel, a sophomore Redshirt sophomore from Virginia Beach has completed 31 passes for 489 yards. He threw a touchdown pass a year ago in the closing minutes in Gainesville. So he's seen duty in this series. A gain of four brings up second down and six. Knowles lead 31 7. 6.54 to go. FSU with a tight end in motion, but runs to that side, near side, cutting the ball against the grain and diving to the 12 is Chris Thompson. Florida State getting maybe two and a half yards on that carry will face third down 635 to go or second down I beg your pardon second down five 31 seven the big number now they change it to third down third down seven Florida State with 624 to go a lot of time in the huddle and that huddle clock will tick down to around seven seconds before Manuel will take a snap Florida State trying to close the door and stop that six-game loss skin. Great opportunity leading 31 to 7. 
from the 12 yard line the snap Manuel's gonna run the ball to the left Manuel's got the corner turn he's to the 22 he's got a first down there's EJ Manuel I thought he might do some running here and run clock we're under six minutes to go Knowles needed seven and Manuel delivered ten running to his left that was a run by design all the way wasn't it yes it was and you're talking about EJ Manuel he can definitely do that one thing right there run the football but we've seen his arm I mean just last week we, uh, when he played against uh, Clemson we got a chance to see that uh, handoff, that fake handoff play action, that bomb, that ball down the, down the field, prime right on the receiver for 53 yards. 5.52 to go. A lot of youngsters in the ball game now with E.J. Manuel, the quarterback, from the 22, moving right. Knowles lead 31-7. to seven. Here's a run by Manuel to the right side. Got a kick out black Manuel to the 28-yard line to the 30. He's a big, tall drink of water, and he leans forward and got an extra two. It'll be second down and two. Will Hill made the stop. He yep. said it, Dream, a tall drink of water, but what he does do is get do a good job of getting his pass down. For him to be that tall, he really gets his pass down and gives the defender his shoulder pass to hit, not allowing him to get on his legs and possibly injure him. Florida State will have Chris Thompson and Lonnie Pryor in the backfield with five minutes and four seconds to go. Huddle clock down to 12. No need to be in a hurry. No second down and one. Gain of nine on that carry by E.J. Manuel, redshirt sophomore quarterback. High formation, Knowles. Run the ball to Chris Thompson. And he'll be stopped for no gain. May have lost a half a yard. Clock will continue to tick. Florida has their full complement of timeouts. So do the Seminoles. Remember, Florida used all three timeouts early in the first half. Could have used some late. 4.33 to go. And Jimbo Fisher in his first year has a chance to notch a win over both arch rivals of the Seminoles. Miami in October. And Florida in November. That'll be a November to remember, won't it? Yes, it will. Third down and three or a long two. Manuel in the shotgun. Needs to reach the 32-yard line to keep possession. Good snap, and Manuel's going to run the ball. He finds a little room. He dives to the 36. He's got a first down. Never a doubt when he took off to run, he was going to find a way to get a first down. Clock stops momentarily with 4.01 to go. How about Jimbo Fisher and this Florida State football team, William? Doing an excellent job right now. I mean, you just like the way that this football team is playing. You know, you talk about your arch drivers, and I guess you're going to play the hardest against these two teams. You should play hard against every team. But what they did to Miami and what they're doing to Florida tonight wow. just shows you what this team is actually capable of. Florida State moving right, fresh set of downs. Can run more clock, 341 to go. I formation. Knowles lead 31 to 7. Here's the snap, handoff. Chris Thompson tries to bust one up the gut and gets very little. Florida State, there comes a late flag. Are they going to get a freshman wide receiver going at the knees of a defensive back? Well, I guess so. The flag was thrown in the secondary. You had two guys tangled up there, a Gator and a Seminole. Florida State with a 31-7 lead. Flag thrown in the deep secondary. Florida State students celebrate across the way. Here's Brad Allen, our referee, as he sorts things out. There is no foul. Cornelia block along the way. It occurred more than 10 yards downfield. There is no foul. Way to go, ref. I'm glad somebody could explain the rules to that guy <laughs> with an S on his jersey. That's the side judge. Well, he learned something tonight, didn't he? Florida State with a gain of two. Brings up second down and eight. E.J. Manuel, a quarterback, Florida State, winning big over arch rival Florida, 31-7. In the fourth late, 3.13 to go, long snap count by Manuel. McMahon's going to get dizzy. He's been over since back so long. It's a draw play to the quarterback, and Manuel is going to run to the 39, and that's about all he's going to get. Three minutes left to go on this gorgeous November night. Florida State 31, Florida 7. Does Jimbo Fisher get the Powerade bath? You know what? I know he could probably get. I don't know. I don't know if he wants the Powerade bath, but I tell you what, his team would be right if they wanted to give him one. They played well enough tonight. He's had a great game plan for this team, for this Florida team. They've executed well, and everybody is happy right now at Bobby Bob Field at Dope Campbell Stadium. Florida State beat Miami 45 to 17 in early October. We're beating Florida 31 to 7 in late November. 
Shotgun formation, third down, six, run all the way by E.J. Manuel, makes his cut, and he'll not get the first down. He's stuffed as he reached the 40-yard line, back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up fourth down. 2.10 to go, 2.09. Florida State will finish the regular season with a record of 9-3. and three. Florida will drive back to Gainesville with a record of 7-5. and five. Florida State with a piece of the Atlantic Division of the ACC. And with a minute 53 to go, we're going to tell you that Florida State's best friend tonight is Maryland, and the Maryland Terrapins have a lead over North Carolina State. Listen to the crowd celebrate, finally putting it in to a six-game skid. A minute 37 to go. A minute 35. Celebrate Seminoles. And not that, Gene, not only just putting the end to the streak, but there's a way to win a football game. And really, since this thing, after that first series, Florida State has dominated the University of Florida out there on the field. And look at Greg great Reed. job. Look at Greg Reed encouraging the crowd. He's fist in the air, exhorting the students to make noise. Number five is a player, isn't he? Yes, he is. He was a true freshman last year. Had an opportunity to play against Florida. And, you know, they did. They did. I'm looking at it now, and I tell you what, if I was a coach right now, I'd probably get in trouble because I'd be trying to <laughs> run this score up on a G. I yeah. mean, last well, year, what happened to us in Florida, they didn't call the dogs off. But I think it tells us the quality people that we have and how we handle business, but I would tell you what, I'd be definitely trying to put another two scores up on Florida Fowles coaching. Well, That's the, why Jimbo is the coach, I guess. Gators have out, had outscored us 127-37 to 37 last three seasons. Knowles have put 31 on the board. That's almost as many as we've had the last three years against Florida. Exactly. And to punch Sean Powell with 93 seconds left. Good snap. Again, a line drive or a knuckleball thing, flag thrown. It goes out of bounds somewhere in the neighborhood of the 40-yard line. Personal foul, roughing the snapper, number 22. That's a first snapper. down. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. I have never seen that call in my life. <laughs> he must have been really giving them the business down there, Gene. Kicking, I didn't even see that one. Kicking the snapper. And that's on Matt Elam. Number 22 was who the penalty was flagged on. That's a fresh set of downs for the Knowles. From the 45, Manuel hands the ball off, and Chris Thompson shakes a leg and gets it to the 40 again to five. Well, the Knowles are still putting that foot on the accelerator with a minute 16 to go. Manuel did not just take a knee. A minute 12 to go. Seminole faithful standing and cheering now. The Garden and Gold happy. A lot of empty seats where a former fans dressed in orange and blue used to sit. A minute two to go. Down to a minute. E.J. Manuel in mop-up duty. For starter Christian Ponder who threw three touchdown passes in the game. Lonnie Pryor ran one in. The only touchdown of the second half, the only score, Ponder to Halstead in the third quarter. Second down, five, moving right, the snap, hand off left side. Chris Thompson runs into a Gator defensive lineman and is stopped in his tracks at the 39. 37 seconds, you don't need to take another snap. They have not started the 40-second clock. Florida State 31, Florida 7. Celebrate Seminoles. That's a good-looking scene right there. i tell you what, Gene. That is a good-looking scene. Florida State coach Jimbo Fisher notches his first win over the Gators in his first outing. And the Knolls celebrate with fireworks. FSU 31, Florida 7, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2. This one's over. And the Knolls advance to 9-3. Yeah, for us to... to beat Florida and Miami in the same year and, and earn that state championship was huge for us. I mean, the senior class has been through a lot of up and down since we've been here. And, um, you know, for us to get that goal that we set, you know, prior to the season was huge. And, uh, you know, the, the four prior years that I've been at Florida State, we weren't able to beat Florida. Um, and for us to do that in the fashion that we did and do and go down and beat Miami like we did was was amazing. And, um, you know, I'll, that Florida game will, will be in my memory forever. So it was, it was definitely great for us to do that.